One of the most relevant questions to starting to work with psychedelics is do you start with a microdose or do you start with a macrodose? And what's the relationship between the two? How is microdosing different than macrodosing? So in today's video, we're going to review some of the commonalities, some of the differences, how you should start, when you should start, uh, some of these important things that would be good for you to know. The two most common ways to use psychedelics are either in a microdose or macrodose fashion. And obviously, there's a huge difference between microdosing and macrodosing. For starters, microdosing is sub-perceptible, meaning you're not really feeling much of anything the day that you microdose. But instead, over a 30-day or 60-day or 90-day period, you're noticing a gradual increase of benefits and energy and mood and creativity. Whereas a macrodose is like someone is shaking you to get the message. It's an intense experience, a peak experience that often helps us to reset our new North Star. So if you're looking at microdosing versus macrodosing, here are a few tips to keep in mind. First of all, if you're brand new to psychedelics, you've never touched a psychedelic before, microdosing is a great way to start. And it's important that you start low and go slow. So if you're looking at LSD, you might start at five micrograms, then 10, then 15, then 20, and see how each one of those feels to you. If you're working with mushrooms, it might be 0.1 to 0.2 to 0.3 to 0.4 grams. Again, starting to cultivate a relationship with the substance to see how it feels for you. If you're already very experienced with psychedelics and you're just wondering, eh, at this point in time, should I microdose or should I macrodose? The question that I would ask you is, do you feel like you're very confident in your purpose, your vision, and where you're headed in life? If you say, yes, I know my path, then microdosing is a better way to accelerate that path. If you're going, eh, I'm kind of stuck right now, I'm a little unsure of where I'm headed, then it might be best to first start with a macrodose to set that compass, that new North Star, and then to integrate microdosing as part of your integration process to accelerate your own path of growth and development. So those are a few of the differences between microdosing and macrodosing. Again, if you're new to psychedelics, always start with microdosing. And if you've already tried that and it hasn't worked, then go to a macrodose, but make sure that you do it with a therapist or a guide or a sitter. Regardless of whether it's a microdose or a macrodose, set and setting is always crucial. So have an intention, pay attention to your container, and ensure that you're approaching these substances with reverence and responsibility. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to stay up to date on the third wave of psychedelics, subscribe to this channel and visit the thirdwave.com. CO, where you'll find plenty of free resources on intentional and responsible psychedelic use.